That's next, but first time countdowns number two story. Tonight's worst person in the world. The bronze tonight to two unnamed students at Woonsocket High School in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Here is the mixed message of all mixed messages. Two boys, 15 and 16, were desperate not to be late for school, so they stole a car. The keys to which were found in the pocket of one of the guys as he sat in the detention room because he was late for school anyway. Our runner-up, Alberto Gonzalez, the disgraced former attorney general, apparently does not realize he is the disgraced former attorney general. He admits he's been looking for work in the private sector since last April with no luck. But at least the current downturn has provided him with a new rationalization. It's a rough economy right now, he tells a newspaper in Austin, and it's a tough time for a lot of law firms. Greater opportunities will present themselves once the stories are out there. Part of the problem might be Mr. Gonzalez's expectations. I'm very fortunate that I'm at a point in my life where if I wanted to do something completely different, be baseball commissioner, for example, he says, seriously, I would love a job in baseball, a plug there, I can do it. Speaking as a lifelong baseball fan, historian, reporter, and customer, I'd rather see the game vanish from the face of the earth. <laughs> Speaking of which, our winner, Glenn Beck. After he lost his show on CNN, he's got a perfect fit over there on Fox Noise. And in advertisements for the new show, Beck says, I'm tired of the politics of left and right. It's about right and wrong. We argue back and forth. If you haven't voted for the donkey, you're just a hate monger. The other side, oh, those donkeys trying to turn us into communist Russia. Stop. There seems to be a complex, psychological, hypocritical self-hate phenomenon going here because it is Beck who's the one who constantly claims that Democrats are communists. In August, he called Obama a, quote, Marxist. A year ago, he called Hillary Clinton Comrade Clinton and said a plan of hers sounds like the Soviet Union. Beck said of John Edwards, quote, he's a communist. He called a Harvard professor, quote, Stalin. And after John McCain sewed up the Republican nomination last winter, Beck said, it's not just a fear slogan to say Democrats are communists. We are on a collision course with socialism, communism here in the United States. Unfortunately for Mr. Beck and the rest of us, he is not on a collision course with sanity. Glenn, if it is hypocritical self-hate, at least you have plenty of company. Beck, today's worst person in the world!